Hello everyone, I'm really interested in the eco-friendly lifestyle and today I wanted to make an electric car. Sounds cool, but I don't get the difference between electric cars and ordinary ones. Oh, I can tell you a lot about electric cars. Sue, I cut out one thing here. I think you'll need it. You can make a window! Sure, but first we'll remove the upper cardboard layer. There. Now this piece is more flexible, see? Guys, be careful working with sharp tools. You'd better ask an adult to help, yes. Now let's remove the extra parts. We'll make a hood out of it. Shall we use magic? Voila! Sammy, what do you want to know about electric cars? But well, why are they eco-friendly? Well, that's simple. You see, gas vehicles produce exhaust fumes. They pollute the atmosphere, while electric cars do not. That's why I like electric cars more than gas ones. Guys, give a thumbs up if you also think about ecology. Sue, so why do you need these sticks? <gasps> Will it be a super electro wooden mechanism? No, sticks are not for this. Dry wood is not a good conductor. I need sticks to make the car's body sturdier. Sue, so tell me about the license. Can't I really just get in and drive? Mmm, counter question. Can you drive a car? What's so difficult? Turn the wheel, push the pedal, and go. <laughs> okay, another question. Do you know the traffic rules? Huh, easy peasy. Give way to pedestrians and stop at the red lights. Ah, <sighs> Sammy. It's all easy with you. To get a license, you have to know all the road signs and the way you should act while driving. Also, you have to know the structure of a car. How to drive it, how to park it. I got my gorilla. I didn't know it was so boring. <laughs> well, it only seems boring. You'll learn to drive and remember all the traffic rules easily. Then it'll be easy peasy. You only need to make the effort once. Not today, Sue. Not today. Well, today you're going to help me with the craft and then I'll teach you how to drive. Will it be like a PlayStation game? <laughs> yes. You can practice in the meantime. And I have a special task for you. Cut many cardboard circles, please. That's a job for me and no rules. <laughs> Personally, I like rules. It always feels better when you know for sure what to do. Also, I really like new subscribers on our channel. So subscribe and hit the bell. Okay. Here, I'll glue several pieces to secure the body. These cardboard pieces will hold the sides of our electric car. <laughs> Do you think Sam's handled the circles? Cause the car's body is ready. Time to make the wheels. Whoa, Sammy, you look like an Oreo. <laughs> I didn't get how they stuck to me. I remember I was cutting them. Then I tried a woolen scarf on, walked on a carpet. <sighs> Oh, you just got static electricity. It happens. That's why small paper objects stick to you. <laughs> oh, it can only does that mean I'm an electro car now? An electro slime. How do you like that nickname? Did I get a superpower? I'm like Magneto from X-Men. Sorry, Susie, I've got many magnetic things to do. I'll call Samantha Enterpriser. <laughs> oh, I doubt that. Samantha knows you way too well. <laughs> The wheels are ready. Let's upgrade them. Voila! Your car is officially souped up. <laughs> it's time for the most important thing. Motors, which will make our car move. The most important? I can't miss that. I can see your static electricity tests were successful. Yes, I am the king of electricity and magnetism. Oh, do you know who was the real master of electricity? Nikola Tesla. So now we're going to make the black wheel axle. There will be no motor for the front wheels. The back ones will do the leading. Wait, what did you say about that Tesla superhero? <laughs> no, Sammy, he's not a superhero, although I'd argue that. Tell me more. Is he cooler than Magneto? He's a very famous scientist of the past. Many modern things are based on his inventions. 
Tesla's discoveries are used in cosmetology, TV, and radio broadcasting. Oh, they say it was he who invented the first electric motor. Its construction is very close to the modern one, while Elon Musk introduced that design into the modern car. Personally, I think that electric motors are a real miracle. By the way, we'll put this exact kind of motor in our car. Oh, now I get why Elon Musk called his electro car Tesla. I'll go read about Tesla. Looks like he's really cooler than Magneto. Guys, give a thumbs up if you agree that science is cool. We've made the main part of the car, so now it's time for the little pieces. Here we'll make the doors that will open up, but first, let's set a simple door. Carefully insert it here. It will let the doors move easily. If you have any trouble, you can ask an adult to help. Let's put the door separator right here. By the way, our car is almost eco-friendly. Cardboard and wood aren't harmful for nature. While metal and plastic parts of the engine we'll use for a long time. So let's make the cool doors for our cardboard car. These are pistons. They'll lift up the doors when needed. I found something incredible! Electro cars appeared before gas vehicles. Yes! In 1828, a Hungarian inventor built a cart with an electric engine. I thought electric cars were invented recently. Mm-mm. The first electro car appeared a long time ago, but it couldn't reach high speeds, and it didn't look that presentable. That's why the internal combustion engine on petrol conquered the whole world. I wish electricity had won. The electro hero's time has come. Whoa! <laughs> right. Did you learn anything new about Tesla? Oh, a lot. Apparently, he could teleport things and control lightning bolts. Oh, well, that's not officially proven, Sammy. It's hypothetical. Well, I believe it. I think Tesla's cooler than not just Magneto, but Professor Xavier. That's the highest superhero compliment from Sam. Yes, while watching various videos, I made these pieces for ya. It seemed you were missing something. Then I understood I wasn't imagining things. Thank you, Sammy. Let's glue them. Ah! In a real car, you'd see passengers, of course, but our main hero today is the inner mechanism. And Nikola Tesla, and me, and Magneto, and Elon Musk. Let's attach these two wooden pieces to make sure the door holds well. There, it will open and close easily. We'll use the same principle to make the back doors. Guys, don't forget about safety. Ask an adult to help. They like crafting, too. Voila! We're at the finish line! Susie, I'm ready for great deeds! I even made a costume. What do you say? Huh. Want me to guess who you are? We'll try. <laughs> All right. Um, Optimus Prime? No, too, too obvious. Try again. Uh, Iron Man? <laughs> Magneto? Nope. And nope. It's not so difficult. Well, I give up then, Sammy. These are Tesla car pieces! I'm Nikola Tesla! Oh, Nikola Tesla was a simple man, only a very smart one. Two, you know nothing about superheroes. <sighs> I sure don't. <laughs> Here we put a micro USB slot. Our mini Tesla car will be charged using the same slot as a smartphone. It's time to glue the bumpers. Remember to be careful when using a hot glue gun. First goes the back bumper. There. Carefully. And now the front one. Up. Great. Now let's decorate the car with bright headlamps. Oh, yeah. Check out the headlamps we got. Cool, right? Ugh. I made one thing here. I've locked up the electricity here. Oh, awesome. The power bank's inside. Our car will have electricity for a really long time. Let's leave the car to charge, then we'll take it on a test drive.
Uh, Roger, when you said you'd take everything, I thought you were kidding. Sammy, you underestimate me. And you've been a crafter for so long. <laughs> oh, why? Hey, careful! This wheel almost hit me. I mean, you should know that anybody can make awesome things from nothing. Okay, you're right. So, what are we gonna do today? Oh, you're definitely gonna like it. This'll be a remote control car with a bubble machine. Holy cannoli, it's gonna be the best soap party ever! Right, Sammy. Soap bubbles are a perfect thing for the party. Let's start with the RC car. We need a cardboard piece, 15 by 18 centimeters, with a futuristic design. And four gear motors. Oh, I think I know why we need these motors! Roger, am I right? <laughs> Hush, Sam. We'll reveal this a little bit later. We'll place the motors on the cardboard piece, like this using hot glue. Be careful with it, and don't get burned. This process requires a lot of attention. Here we go. Now we'll connect them to a controller module. Ask an adult to help you with it, guys. Don't get tangled in wires. I went through this so many times. Yep, Sammy. Your relationship with wires is sure something. How do you even manage to get tangled every time? <laughs> it's always bad luck, Roger. They just skip all over me in the blink of an eye. And now we'll use the soldering iron to connect the control module wires to the battery. Guys, Roger is a real pro with this. You better do it with an adult supervision. Next, we're going to wrap the wire contact with a protection tube. Heat the tube a little to let it shrink. Be very careful, guys. Wow, it's real magic! That's why I like crafting! And it's done! Let's connect the wires to the radio control module. There we go! Perfect! I'm kind of pro in crafts too. This one won't work without a battery. It's hard to argue with that. <laughs> Let's connect one with the controller module like this. Roger, I found out what will make this car even better. Really? What do you have in mind, Sam? Oh, well, seems like he's gone and I didn't notice. <laughs> well, while Sam is preparing something, I'll place the battery right here. Done. Oh, Roger, you've already started attaching wheels. I'm only halfway. It seems like you have something interesting for me. So far, I'll only tell you one word. Are you ready? Lights! Hmm, I think I got your idea. Did you bring an LED strip light? Bingo! Do you think we can use it for our craft? Let's just try and see. Oh. What is the party about shiny lights after all? <laughs> here comes the LED strip light. We'll glue it here and place this part carefully around the control module. Like this. Just one more wire to connect. Hop. Yay, guys, it's working. Guys, check out these cardboard strips that we added on the sides. And here comes the last thing. Aren't we gonna hide the mechanism? Of course not! We can't hide this awesomeness, Sam. Huh, okay, if you say so. Huh, Roger, you have a very strange mirror here. It's just a CD, to listen to music, you know? Oh, it's so old-fashioned. Why do you even still have that? I like collecting old stuff. And today we'll use this CD as a mill wheel. It'll spin and make some cool bubbles. Oh, I got it! Roger, you need to make a container for the soap! That's why I have this aluminum can. Let's make the hole the size of the CD. Like this. You see? Bam! That's how it's done. Let's check the size. Perfect fit! <clears throat> Roger, I had to keep myself busy, so I need a few marks on the CD. Guys, to make perfect soap bubbles, we'll need wind, a soap mixture, and a few openings. We're gonna drill them right now. <laughs> uh, 
Wow, you made it so fast, Roger. You're the best. <laughs> I wasn't going to. Oopsie. <laughs> Don't tell Sue about that. In the meantime, we'll continue. Let's use a marker and a baffle lid. One, two, three. Guys, I counted them for you. And here comes the drill again. Guys, better ask an adult to help. Watch your hands, Roger! Oh, you've already finished. Yeah, and now we're going to glue the lid right in the middle. Roger, check this out. I have wooden teeth. <laughs> oh, this is what I need right now. Thanks, Sam. Careful. I still have two. Unlucky for you. We use all three sticks in our craft, Sammy. All right. I hope I'm not going to regret this. Now all three sticks are in place. Let's make this CD spin. First, we'll add some glue to the lid carefully. And then we'll attach a small motor. Check this out. Now we can place it on the RC car. This container goes first. Don't forget the proper order, Roger. You're right, Sam. Let's place it on the front. And here comes the CD. Where should we place it? Wait for a bit, Sam. First, we'll work with these cardboard pieces. Three by six centimeters each. Let's glue them together. If you use hot glue, be very careful. And now let's glue them to the car, right behind the container. And here's another small piece. Great! We also added some yellow color to make it look really cool. Uh-huh. This is going to be a sort of stand, right? Exactly. We're going to place the CD mechanism on its top. Add some glue, as always, and place the spinning mechanism right here. Cool. Guys, do you want to learn how to create wind? Then watch the next part. So now we'll work on a wind propeller. Sam, say it again. Why do we need this? Because we're going to blow bubbles. Watch me. <laughs> It's not working, Roger. We must make strong wind. Okay, I got you. Let's make a stable stand first. It must be like a tornado! <laughs> it won't be that strong, but I'll do my best. <laughs> we'll glue this piece right behind the motor. Roger, I found what she asked. Am I fast, huh? Thanks. But I asked for two halves of a popsicle. <laughs> Ah, wow, this was amazing! Sam, is there anything you can't do? Uh, I can't think of anything like that. I'm pretty awesome. We're gonna make this stand a little bit higher. Let's glue these pieces right here. Now we're ready to attach the propeller. I got it, Roger. Here, take this. Good job, Sam. <laughs> All we need to do is just put it in the right place. Cool. Shiver me, Cheddar, so I can't wait to see how it works! Hey, Sam, don't you think something is still missing here? I thought this place was made for me! Do you have better ideas? We can make a driver so that you can enjoy the party! Uh, I'm not sure. Will he handle this? I'll monitor him well. Oh, okay! I trust only you, Raj! What shall we start with? Let's make him a body. We'll use this aluminum can. Guys, you see? Sometimes drinking soda can help in crafting. <laughs> oh my Tibby Jabba, Roger, is this another thing from your collection? Hello, I am Roger's wooden mannequin. Ah, it was so helpful for my drawing class. Wait, are we gonna use it in our craft? Only some parts of it. You'll see. Now let's join body parts together. First, we'll connect the body and the neck. I've grown a second head! Which one is better? I like the original sound the most. <laughs> let's glue the head too. <laughs> Not bad. This guy also needs strong arms to drive the car. And strong legs to feel stable during the ride. Here he is! But I think we need to add something like... <laughs> Thanks for the inspiration, Sammy! <laughs> uh, uh, what? What? That's much better! 
this'll be the bubble DJ! <laughs> Speed up, Roger! We still have to finish the bubble machine! Oh, that's right! We're gonna connect the propeller and the spinning mechanism with the tumbler. Do this only with adult supervision. Now, guys, we'll insert the button, which is connected to our wires, which in turn are connected to the battery. Are you ready to test how it works? Roger! Hey, Roger, you forgot about the driver! Cool! Our RC car with a bubble machine is finished! Let's party! Here we go! It's time for bubbles! We're ready to rock! Guys! Roger! Guys! Our show party is coming! Let's check everything! Controller! Check! The driver's ready too! He looks really excited! What are we waiting for then? Let's go! Absolute success, guys! I hope you like it! Don't be afraid to set your creativity free! Cause it's so fun! Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel! Bye-bye, guys! Bye, everyone!